Hi, um, hi everyone. My name is Carrie, and I'm, uh, I teach body sculpting on Monday and Wednesday evenings in Lakewood. Um, and then I also do the Saturday morning makeups. So I'm going to try this a uh, little, see if I can keep a workout to within 30 minutes for the YouTube channel. We'll see how this goes. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, we're, oh, I'm going to start with a really quick warm up. I um, always do my, my classes always have at least a 10 to 12 minute warm up to get the muscles all um, stretched out and your blood pumping and you're ready to go. So we're going to stretch the tricep really quick. Um, hopefully in this little session we're going to work all of the muscles. So um, it's never, in my opinion, you can never stretch too much. So pull that arm across your body. You're going to stretch that shoulder muscle, filling your lungs, nice deep breathing. Pull the other arm across. Take it from below. Okay, and then plant your feet, lace your fingers behind you, oh, squeeze your palms together, opening up the chest and shoulders, release it, let's lace them in front, press your shoulders to the back of the room, all right, stand nice and tall, take that up and over, stretching the oblique muscle, exhale as you come to center, nice deep in breath, take it the other way, good. Standing tall, legs apart, you're going to take that right hand down to that left foot, just stretching that lower back and the hamstrings. Carefully bring yourself up, take it the other way. Oh, really stretch those muscles. And again, bring it up and then take it down. Try and touch the floor, take it as far down as you can and as you're comfortable doing. And bring yourself up, squeezing the butt muscles. All right, we're gonna um, start with a, a wide stance plank. So we're gonna take it down to the floor, all the way down to your elbows, uh, if you can see me, on your elbows, and your feet are gonna be wider than your hips. You're gonna take it up, strong core, lifting through the glutes and hamstrings. We're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Breathing through the entire move. Keep breathing. Squeeze the butt. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, take it to your knees, push your butt back into your heels, stretching that lower back. Okay, that's the only thing we're gonna do on the floor for this workout. Um, so you might wanna go ahead, oh, and grab your weights. Or no, sorry, we don't need the weights just yet. Sorry, sorry, okay. I'm nervous. I haven't done this in front of the camera. Okay, we're going to do a squat to toes. So you're going to push that butt back, sit nice and deep into the move, and then when you bring it up, you're going to take it up to your toes for a little isometric hold. So push that butt back, squeeze it all the way up, take it to your toes and hold. Press it back for two, up to the toes and hold. Three, four, work those calves. Use all the muscles in your legs. Five, squeeze all the way back up your hamstrings into your glutes. Push it back for six, press it up. Seven, and squeeze. Eight, nine, 10, and squeeze. Push it back for 11 and press it up. 12, 13, 14, 15. 
All right, this is the last 16. Press it all the way up to your toes. Now push it back down into a squat. We're gonna pulse it. On the pulse, I want you to push your butt down and back. So press, press, press. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Good, squeeze that butt. All right, now you wanna grab your weights. We're gonna do a reverse lunge with an overhead press combination. So I'm gonna step it up. I probably should have pushed that camera further back. Give myself room here. So you're gonna do a nice, um, starting with those weights up by your shoulders, your arms, your elbows down into your rib cage. As you take it back, press it up, come back to standing. We'll do eight, no, we'll do 16 on each leg, why not? Ready? Press it up for one, two, keep those shoulders back over the hips, three, perfect posture, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, keep breathing, 14, 15, last one on this side, good, catch your breath, other side, get those arms into your rib cage, take a step back for 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, and one. All right, good. Quick drink of water. Let's see what we're doing next. Oh. Whew. Okay, you only need one weight for this one. We're gonna do forward lunge. Oh, excuse me. Um, so, we're gonna do forward lunge with the pass through. So you have a weight, standing tall, keeping those shoulders over the hips. Again, always perfect posture. You're gonna step into it, pass the weight underneath, step into it, pass it under. I'll call this two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Keep your torso upright. 13, 14, whoops, 15. And last one on this side. We're gonna switch to the other leg. Take it down for 16, 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Good, in through the nose. Get those heart rates up. Okay, we're gonna do a bent over row with a double kickback combination. So, for the bent over row, you're working the lat muscle. 
That's a muscle that runs from your shoulder blade down to the hip along the length of your back. We're gonna take it down into a squat. You wanna make sure that you push your butt out, keep your shoulders back, nice strong belly, flat back, and on the row, you're gonna pull the shoulder blades back. So we concentrate on squeezing. Don't just pull the elbows back, squeeze those shoulder blades together. And we're gonna row it, and then when we get up here, squeeze it back for that tricep extension and then press it back down, working in both directions. So find your position, flat back, firm abs, squeeze the shoulder blades, squeeze the tricep, extend and press. Two, extend, oh sorry, sorry. Three, squeeze, extend and press. Four, squeeze it and press it down. Five, five, six, and squeeze. Seven for the lat and the tricep. Eight, make sure you work it both directions. So squeeze, squeeze, extend, and press. 10, 10, 10, 11, 11, 11, 12, squeeze that tricep, 13. 14, 15, squeeze it, 16, 16, extend and press. Good, nice. All right, um, upright row, double curl. Okay, working the shoulders and the biceps. Upright row, double curl. So we're gonna start with those weights down in front of our, our um, legs. When you do the upright row, make sure you get those elbows nice and high, okay? Pretend you're lifting a really heavy bucket full of dirt. You can't do it with your, you can't do it like this. Your wrists are not strong enough. You need those whole shoulders and arms. So use your imagination, press it down. Remember, it's a curl combination. So we're gonna pull it up, press it down, open for the curl. Nice, strong core, two, and curl. Three for the shoulders, curl for the biceps. Four, stabilize your body. Five and five. Six and six. Seven and squeeze. Eight and squeeze. Nine, make these count. Pull it up for 10, press it down, squeeze, release. 11, same speed. 12, 12, 12, 12. 13, nice and strong, it's nice strong core. 14, firm up those abs. 15, and squeeze, last one. Lift, press, squeeze, extend. Quick drink of water. All right, we've got a hammer curl, Arnold press combo. So, standing tall, all right, you wanna make sure Open up the chest, pull those shoulders back. Your belly should be flat and firm. We're gonna do that hammer curl. I want you to make sure that you're not rocking or swinging, all right? You're gonna squeeze it up. We're gonna take it up into an Arnold press, bring it down, releasing with control. So, excuse me, no swinging of the arms, ready? So squeeze, take it up and press it, bring it down, two. Two, two, really reach into the ceiling, squeeze, press it up, nice and tall. Four, nice and tall. Five, and reach, bring it down, release with control, squeeze, press, release. Seven, 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 
eight, watch your form. Nine, press, release. 10, press, release. 11, really tall. All the way up through the ceiling for 12. Really reach for 13. 14. 15. All right, last one. Squeeze, reach, release, and take it down. Okay, we're going to do kickbacks for the tricep. So you want to get down into your tabletop position. Your back is flat. Your belly is firm. Suck it in. Fight gravity. Pin the elbow at your hip. And again, watching your form. So get the elbow that's resting on your leg. Get that arm out. That's where you're going to stop. That's your stopper. You're going to squeeze it up. You're not twisting, not twisting that weight around with your wrist. All right. Down here, it's like a hammer at the end of your wrist. Up here, it's a hammer at the end of your wrist. And you're gonna stop it right here. So, nice flat back, firm abs. We're gonna pulse the count in four, eight, 12, and 16. Stick with me, ready, Stay, take it up for one. Two, three, and we're gonna take it up and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pulse it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, pulse, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, nice and strong, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, we're going to do the other side. If you're doing it right, you really feel bad in that tricep muscle when you squeeze it back, like you're trying to hammer um, the weight into the ceiling. So nice flat back, firm abs, suck it in. Pin, get, pin the elbow at your hip, get your stopping hand out. And nice flat back, ready? Squeeze for one, squeeze for two, squeeze for three. Pulse, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and pulse it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, nice and strong, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, working those triceps. Let's see what's next. Um, okay, this one is for the shoulders with a lateral step back. I think I have enough room here. All right, so for the shoulders, we're gonna do what I call a snow angel. You start with a weight in each hand. Again, open up the chest. Pull those shoulders back, keeping the chest wide open, palms facing forward. And like with a snow angel, you're going to take them up overhead, releasing with control. We're going to, those, are, those are tough enough. We're also going to add into that for every other one. We're going to um, alternate these um, a lateral step back. So when you take it up overhead, step it back, and then you're going to go the other way. All right, but the work we're really trying to do is in the shoulders. And if you can't do it with step back, then just stand on center and do it for the shoulders. Ready? So we're going to take it back for one, two, three, four, nice long arms, five, reaching overhead, six, working those shoulders seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, you should really feel this in those shoulders right about now, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, and 16. Good, I gotta check my time here. 20 minutes, all right, good. Um, oh man. Let's just do some buzzy curls. Whew. Okay, sorry, buzzy curls. Standing nice and strong, open up that chest, pull the shoulders back. You wanna tuck that muscle, tuck that arm in. All right, so you're not just swinging it up, but you're tucking it in towards your body. Pull it in, ready? Begin. One, one, two, and two, Three, working those biceps, concentrate. Four, if you actually watch your bicep muscle, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Six, you tend to work it a little harder. Seven, because you're able to concentrate on it as you watch it work. Eight. Nine and nine. 10, 10, 11, and squeeze it, 12, and squeeze, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, funky squats. So, you can set the weights down. You don't really need them for these. Okay. It's a wide stance squat. <sighs> um, okay. We're going to do four sets of 25. So a total of 100. It's all pulsing. It's working those inner thighs and those glutes. So you want to push it down into a nice deep squat, keeping that torso upright. Keep the shoulders up. Pick up the right heel. Press your left heel into the floor. And you're going to pulse. Two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And on this one, we're gonna switch heels. So pick up the left, press down the right, and keep going. 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Press both heels into the floor and pulse. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. We're gonna double time it. If your quads are burning, squeeze your butt. So concentrate on squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, whoo, 25. Yeah, you can give your quads a break by using the big butt muscles. Let's see, I think I've got about five minutes here. Um, we're gonna do, we'll just end with a deadlift. Working again, those big butt muscles. So starting with the um, deadlift stretch, standing nice and tall. You wanna keep those shoulders back, a weight in each hand. You're gonna take it over and just hang those weights an inch or so off the floor. You're stretching your lower back, stretching through the glutes, through your hamstrings. Okay, these muscles, you really wanna concentrate on them and think about them because on the deadlift, these are the muscles we're working. You're gonna give your back, your lower back a break by teaching your body to use those big butt muscles. So stretch them out. Okay, and then set those weights off to the side. Roll yourself up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Roll it up, pull the shoulders up last. 
shrug it out, shrug it forward. Okay, so what we just did, which was rolling ourselves up, is to differentiate because on the deadlift, when we do a deadlift, we're gonna have a nice neutral core, tucking the tailbone, nice firm abs. We're gonna do a nice deep in breath and pick ourselves up out of our pelvis. And we're gonna take it over, bending at the hips. So your head is in line with your spine, nice flat back, firm abs, and you're not, you're not hanging down here, not looking at your knees. Your nose is facing straight down. Your back is flat. Your chin is high. So your head's in line with your spine. And then you're going to exhale, squeeze your butt, squeeze those hamstring muscles, really engage those muscles to pull yourself up. So you're using the big butt muscles to lift your torso back to a standing position. So all together, hands on your hips for a good morning. We'll do it together. Nice deep in breath. Pick yourself up. Take it over, your back is flat, your belly's firm. Exhale, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your hamstrings, bring yourself up, all right? Now, if you wanna use the weights, you may properly pick them up now. If you're not comfortable using the weights, then just keep your hands on your hips for good mornings like we just did. But this strengthens your lower back and prevents you from hurting your back by teaching you to use those big butt muscles because they're much stronger and more capable of lifting your torso. So nice deep in breath, pick yourself up, take it over, back is flat, belly's firm, head is in line with your spine, exhale, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those hamstrings, bring it up for one. Nice deep in breath, take it over for two, exhale and squeeze the butt. Inhale, take it over for three, Exhale, engage those big muscles in the back. Nice deep in breath, take it over for four. Squeeze, pressing through your heels. Nice deep in breath, take it over for five. You wanna remember this in your daily functions. Oh, I dropped a pencil. Nice deep in breath, take it over for six. Pick it up, squeeze your glutes. Seven and seven. That is the purpose of this move. Eight is to take the strain off your lower back and push it all into those hamstring muscles. Inhale for nine. Exhale and squeeze. Inhale for ten. Exhale and press. 11, squeeze it up. 12, and squeeze. 13. 14, two more. Nice deep in breath. Take it over for 15, your back is flat, your belly's firm, exhale, pressing through the heels, squeeze those glutes and hamstrings one last time. Nice deep in breath. Take it over for 16, exhale, bring it up for 16. Okay, good, step it out. All right, thank you all for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this workout. Um, if, if it worked, I might try and do another couple. Um, and when we're back in the buildings again, I encourage you and invite you to join me for a Saturday morning makeup and because uh, it's a lot of fun. I love teaching these classes and um, I think it's just so good to stay limber and fit. So good luck everyone, stay, stay safe. Thanks for joining me.